it's it's not my job. Welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We are in our seventh year of homeschooling. We have a sixth grader and a second grader, and today I wanted to share with you a full week of chores in our house. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you will find me down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Now, this is part of a little, little group of videos that I am using to get myself back on track. I have failed my systems. I've gotten so out of practice on doing the things that I know work. I just have been slacking, slacking. We've been busy, things have fallen by the wayside, and instead of leaning heavily into my systems to ensure that things are getting done the way they should get done, I've abandoned them, and well, I can feel it. I can, I'm suffering the consequences, okay? The whole, the whole place is. So, in an effort to get back into it and to utilize publicly sharing what I need to be doing as a form of personal accountability, and here at the turn of the new year, I, I'm excited to come here and share with you a full week of chores. Uh, what the chores look like in our home because this is something that will get me right back on track. And I have shared all of this before, but being that I need to start fresh and I haven't shared in a long time, let's do it. Let's look at chores in our home, in our homeschool, and how we are doing this. Um, first and foremost, I am a huge proponent of the, the chores aren't my job. Yeah. I know, and I know that this is a big thing and there's a big push right now for like traditional wives and mothers who do all the things, and that is not me. It is not. I do run a small business, I do earn an income, and so I just have never felt like the responsibilities of the home should fall to one person, especially if that person is me, um, but I am a, a big proponent of we are a unit, our home belongs to us, and therefore we should all do the things. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm still a mom, right? So I'm still probably doing the bulk of things. My husband works outside of the home, so it's just inherent that some things will naturally fall to me. However, I am quick to remind everyone in my home that it is not my job. I also I uh, work to not be such a perfectionist that I am annoyed when other people help out. I allow them to do things their way um, and try not to nitpick the perfection of it because I would much rather have the help than the resentment for demanding perfection and not having any assistance. So that is where I put my eggs in a basket. You guys know for a long time, we did have outside help coming in to help us. Uh, we had bi-weekly cleaning. So every two weeks, uh, people would come in. And one cost always gets me because I feel like, I feel like it is not justified. Like I shouldn't have to be paying somebody to clean my house. I should be better at this, more on it. I get that. And I know that that's a me issue, not an everybody issue. You do you. This is no commentary on you if you have someone who does that. I just always feel like for the cost that it is, there's at least always something that I don't feel like is up to par uh, because when I'm paying for it, then yeah, my standards are pretty gosh darn high. So that I'm always in that struggle. And then trying to be out of the house consistently when they were, it's just, it's just all, I always have enough reservations that I wind up canceling it, which is so stupid, but it do. But I do. So we are currently without outside help, which is fine. I, however, have been slacking on my systems and schedules. Now, if you have seen my cleaning chore videos before, you will know that uh, my husband, one, will do absolutely anything I ask him to. He is also very good at seeing things that need to be done and therefore doing them. And he is religious about this is, he gets all of the dishes into the dishwasher every night make sure it is run every night and unloads it entirely the next morning. So we always start fresh with an empty sink and an empty dishwasher to start the day, which is absolutely huge. He will also pitch in and cook at any point. He will do all the things. So that is never an issue or a concern. The kids have chore charts and I will show them to you in a minute. I will let you know how we got there and how we determined what was happening on which days because it is an absolutely huge it is very important to me, one, that they know how to clean. 
Two, that they understand that they have a responsibility to the unit of our family and our home to clean and that these are important things that they learn the consistency of doing and the systems of doing. So all of this is very important life lessons to me, not to mention it is helpful in our home to have these things done and me not have to be the person to do them. So that is wonderful to me. Um, they are also really good if I'm like, hey, I need more help this week. Or if they do see that I've been very busy or out of sorts, they'll ask if they can do more, which I love that they're taking that initiative and greatly appreciate it. It is wonderful to me. And I like that I'm making the humans that do that, if that makes sense. It's not whether or not they're helping. It's the fact that they recognized that someone needed help. That to me is the bigger point of that um, as a parent and as a human. So that to me is gold. Um, and then I like to theme my cleaning days. And you guys know this. I don't like to do anything on the weekend. I don't have to. We'll like run sheets and things like that. Simple things, pick up, of course, kind of be ready for the week, things like that. But as far as cleaning goes, I like to do... Uh, what is it? Make it right Monday. I like to do make it right Monday, which is getting everything back where it should be, getting ready, prepped for the week, getting everything picked back up, just ready for the week. So make it right Monday, because usually there's a bit of recovery that needs to happen after the weekend. Tinkle Sprinkle Tuesday, which is bathrooms, all bathrooms I like to do on Tuesdays. Whoa, whoa Wednesday, which is wax on, wax off Wednesday. So dusting all the things. That's extra Thursday which is doing some cleaning an oven, wiping out the fridge, that thing that is extra, as well as we are crazy people who do laundry all in one day. We sort all of the laundry together Wednesday night. My husband makes sure the first load is going when he leaves for work in the morning. So usually by the time I'm functional, it's buzzing and I'm switching. And so what I do, we do about five, five to six loads on Thursday. And I am just cycling them the whole day and my bed is made and I lay out everyone's clothes in a pile so they don't get wrinkly. And then we'll go through and kind of power fold at one time and put away. So that's how that works. And either I get to it before he gets home or we do it as a family later or the girls do their own if they need to, like whatever needs to happen, that's how we do laundry. And then Friday is forget about it Friday, which is anything that hasn't happened that needs to happen. And that is how, oh, and floors. So that is how we do the things. And then um, kitchen gets done every night because, and not like floors and things. We do have a robot vacuum, which I think needs to be replaced. Uh, but like cleaning the kitchen happens every night because it needs to happen every night. We don't have dishes that like sit out overnight. We don't do that. Um, and then like beds are made every morning. That's just, that's just how we roll. That is the things that happen. Those are the systems we have in place. And so I thought it'd be fun if I took you along for a little look into my full week of chores to ensure that I am getting my full week of chores done. So. Let's go. All right, Shauna here. And today I'm bringing you along for a week of chores. You guys know that I love a goob theme. Um, I like novelty uh, for myself. It is Monday and I'm gonna do Make It Right Monday, which today is looking like I just need to square the kitchen because the kitchen is still a bit of shambles. There's just stuff. Um, there's an excess of dishes uh, because I, we kind of like finished off clearing out our, um, holiday leftovers so like there's just a lot of spoof and it didn't all fit in the dishwasher so i just need to address that but before i get started in that i wanted to show you what we do for the girls chores because i know that that is kind of a big deal i'm actually gonna set these down and do a down shot so one second okay so i just made these like little laminated themed um sheets that they like and we've got our everyday chores so uh, lunch dishes for the guineas, vacuum water, hay, pick up all of your things um, for Marilyn, same thing. And then they have their every week chores. If they do them all by the end of the week, then they get paid and they get uh, $5 and $10. Wipe out the fridge and microwave, vacuum the car, wipe down the bathrooms, uh, which is like counters and mirrors, vacuum kitchen and living room, mop the living room, replace uh, the guinea pig liner because we use like, um, like uh, felty things that we wash and reuse instead of like a loose litter fill. And then sort your laundry. And then Marilyn's is wiping down the face of the cabinets, cleaning out the car, um, wiping the appliances, wiping the table, mopping the kitchen, wiping the chairs and sorting the laundry. So these are their expectations. And usually what we do really on Fridays with floors is we'll kind of double tackle. So I'll be like, hey, you guys vacuum and I'll mop or you guys mop and I'll vacuum. So we'll, we'll usually kind of tag team that. 
Okay, so it is Monday, so we'll do um, Make It Right Monday today, so I'm gonna bring you along. I should note that like the girls' chores, that's above and beyond their responsibilities. So I still expect them to get dressed, brush their teeth, make their bed. Like that's part of your human existence and the other is part of your um, role in our family to help our home function. So it is important to me that they understand that you must do those things. So that, okay, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do Monday chores, which is Make It Right Monday. I've got all of our schoolwork kind of put back together as far as like things that need to be done. I really need to address a little bit of insanity that is happening in my office. So I will be doing that as well as I'm gonna pop in right now and do the few things around the kitchen that definitely need to get done. So I've got like some stuff I've been accumulating for donation that I just need to make sure makes it into the car so it actually gets donated. Um, and then I've got a lot of dishes that need to get done. So. Let's go hang over um, and do, just make it right Monday. And I'm gonna start in the kitchen because it's the biggest kind of threat to my brain. And then I'm going to pick up in the office because it is getting a bit out of sorts. So let's go. Okay guys, here is kind of the end of day. I wanted to show you what our house looks like at the end of the day. This is how we go to bed. This is what we leave it looking like at night. So, I mean, I think it's pretty picked up and ready. Okay, it's Tuesday, so it's Tinkle Sprinkle Tuesday, which is bathrooms, so I'm gonna bring you along. But first, I thought it would be helpful if I showed you like what my kind of morning responsibilities are, uh, because I realize there's a lot that happens outside of like chore window title. There's a lot of life that still happens. Um, I made sure to film last night the uh, kind of what the end of the house looks like, the end of the day. So I'm gonna show you what the start of the day looks like today. So let's go. Okay. Okay. So this is the start of the day. I left this here intentionally last night. I will get it hand washed and put back in the air fryer. Um, and then all of this over here, my husband usually leaves out to dry, like when he pulls it out of the dishwasher. So at some point today, I'll get that put away. And then as we go throughout the day, we'll reload the dishwasher and it'll be good to go again tonight. So that's how that works. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. So Tuesday is Tinkle Sprinkle Tuesday. I've already put my hair in a pony so we can go get busy. Basically, we're doing bathrooms. So I've got my cleaning caddy. I've got like pledge multi-surface, a container full of baking soda, a scrubber that's got like Dawn and vinegar in it, which is really handy to like scrub the showers, magic erasers, um, a few of the scrub daddies, and toilet bowl cleaner, and disinfecting wipes and basically, so we have two and a half baths in our house and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and scrub them down. Uh, my oldest is responsible for counters and mirrors. Uh, I usually don't make her do mine because mine usually has like a ton of stuff on the counter so I don't subject her to doing that. So what I'll have to do is my counters, bathrooms, mirrors, like sinks, shower, shower door, toilet in the master and toilet, and I like to scrub the sink myself because it like, I feel like I do a better job um, in the half bath. And then in the girls' bathroom, I'll scrub the shower and the toilet and in the sink. And then they're responsible for everything else. So it is like three till 11 now. And the goal is to be less than 30 minutes and be on with life. So I'm gonna pop over. I'm probably not gonna show you me actually scrubbing the toilets and showers because it's a toilet and a shower. Like that's what it is. So um, yeah. That's it, okay? So I'm gonna go pop over and do that and I'll give you the update on how quickly I can make that happen, okay? So it is currently, we'll call it like, we'll call it 11, we'll call it right at 11. It's a couple minutes early, minutes early but we'll call it right at 11. So I'm gonna go, Tingle Sprinkle Tuesday. All right, right at 30 minutes, we've got bathrooms cleaned, three toilets are spick and span, one shower, one shower door and one bathtub shower combo, all scrubbed clean, really nice. All the sinks nicely scrubbed out, all that like toothpaste residue is gone, so my kids don't do a great job of that. Um, and then their mirror, they like to wipe down themselves, but then like it's streaky and I don't love it. Um, so that is also remedied. So bathroom's clean and uh, yeah, that's it for Tuesday for my chores. Uh, kids still haven't done their chores yet today, but if I think about it, I will show you those as well. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday, uh, so chores for the day are my whoa, whoa day. So wax on, wax off. And this is actually really amazing for our current life because Wednesdays are our busiest days. We don't have a lot of downtime on this day. 
Uh, so basically, as long as I have the dusting rag in hand, I can kind of dust wherever I am. It's a really quick uh, thing to get through. And then we sort laundry Wednesday nights for the next day. So actually today's chore for the girls. They'll either catch up on what they've missed to this point for the week. Um, I'm trying to remember if they did their chores yesterday. I think at least one of them did. Um, and then they'll just sort their laundry. So it's pretty easy. Um, so that is our Wednesday chore. So I'll bring you along a little bit. Okay, so that's Wednesday. Just a quick wipe down of things that need to be wiped down. I don't always do baseboards. I don't always do drawers, but I felt like I needed to this time. And you know, the kitchen gets done daily. Um, bedrooms and things will get done as needed. Again, they just don't accumulate dust quite the same, um, but it's just kind of on a rotation. So if I'm doing the bedroom, then I might not do the baseboards and yada yada. It's just kind of cycling through what needs to be, what needs to be, um, dusted. So that's how that works. See you tomorrow for Thursday. Good morning. It's Thursday. Today is that's extra Thursday. Um, I also do all of the laundry and our laundry system is, uh, get up, make my bed. And I throw in, I think right now we have pants, don't dries, whites, lights, darks. So those are our five loads for of like clothing for the week. Um, so we will throw in the, the sheets on the weekend just as we're able. Um, so we will run those and I run those. And then as soon as they're out, I stay on the kind of laundry rotation. As soon as they come out, I just pile them on my bed. Um, but like lay them out in individual piles of whose is what, uh, so that they don't get wrinkly. And then I will, we will mass fold all at one time. And either that is like a full family event or the girls are responsible for their own, or I'll take care of it if I have time, but that's how we do that. And then that's extra. So I've been thinking about what my extra thing is going to be today. And I've got some drawers in the kitchen that just get like, just crummy in them. You know what I mean? And it's kind of driving me nuts. So I'm just going to go through, I think, and do a few drawers in the kitchen, um, so that I, I feel better about it because it, again, is kind of driving me nuts. So I think that's like a good task for today. And that's how I tackle those kind of one-off weird things is just as needed. Uh, if I see it and I feel like that's the thing that needs to happen, it goes on my like mental list or physical list of like, I need to tackle that when I get a chance this week, boom, done. And, um, little five minutes here, 10 minutes there. That's how those things kind of happen. So that's what we're doing today. All right. Okay. Okay. It is Thursday and the last load of laundry has officially gone in and it is uh, into the dryer and it is 11 o'clock. So the laundry is almost finished as far as actually getting clean. And then it will get folded at some point today. Part of the reason I put it on our bed is so that we have to do it every, like we have to get it done or else we can't sleep there. So we will get it done at some point today. I don't know quite know what the plan is yet. And then my plan is still to clean out some drawers for my that's extra. Hey guys, Shauna here. It's Friday. So on Friday, it's forget about a Friday. So anything we haven't done over the week, anything we see that needs to be done, anything we forgot about. Um, but we also tackle the floors. And the way that we do that is the girls help out. And usually what I will do is I will give them the choice to vacuum or mop. And then we, um, we only really regularly do the downstairs. The upstairs just doesn't get enough traffic to warrant doing it every week. Uh, so we'll do it every once in a while. Um, but we do split it up. So we've got quite a few different kind of rooms on our ground floor and I will have them split it what feels equally. And so if they decide to mop, one will mop most of, you know, her portion, the other will mop the other portion and I'll vacuum. I usually try to alternate with them what we do so that I get the level of quality that I want at least every other week. So, um, that, okay. So Friday, let's go. <sighs> okay. It is now Friday after lunch. The kids have done the guinea pig, let her run around a while, which is always a good idea to clean the floors real well after that. Um, so we are going to do that. They are eating lunch while they are sitting still in a single spot. I'm going to vacuum today. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that while they are, um, watching a cartoon and eating lunch. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to bring you along. Um, I also probably honestly need to take five or 10 minutes and attack the kitchen. It's gotten a little out of sorts. There's a lot going on in there. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, get it a little reset. Okay. So why don't you come with me? 
honest question. Are you anything like me? And every time you have to vacuum your floors or see your floors with hair on them, you debate shaving every single person and every single thing that comes in your home. Is that just me? Is that me? Is it my weird, crazy rage hate of hair, which I know goes against everything you would think being that I worked in a salon behind a chair for like over a decade. Um, but I freaking hate hair. It is time to dump the mop water. Floors are done. That's it. Those are the chores. Those are chores that we do week in and week out to make sure that we have our house in working order. I'm not going to pretend like it's everything. Um, the big stuff, if it's really big stuff, we plan it and we get to it. Um, husband helps out an absolute ton, especially on the weekends when he's got more free time. Uh, kids help out a ton. It's just, it's an expectation. In our family, everybody helps out and things get done. That is how things get done. Uh, it's not my job. Uh, but with that, I also have to give them the grace to do things in the way that they will do them and to understand that they will not be done to the level that I would have them done. So part of that, I know we're all guilty of it. You got to let it go. So I frequently got to let it go, but not always. And I would rather have the help than perfection. So that for me is a bigger deal. Anyways, that's it. That's our week of chores. Um, I mean, I would say, I hope you enjoyed it, but does anybody enjoy chores? Like really? No. Hope you enjoyed this glimpse at our week of chores. I hope that you found any of that helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up, um, and let us know down in the comments or over on Instagram. What did you appreciate about this? What do you do? What don't you do? What's something that's totally changed the game for you? I do like my little cleaning caddy and take it all around. So that's been pretty nice. Like having that instead of having to have stuff in each, each bathroom, it's just too much stuff. Uh, but yeah, what's the thing for you that's been a game changer in your cleaning chores, getting it done? How does it go from needing to be done to getting done? What is it? Is it a routine? Is it a system? Is it um, a checklist? Like what is it? Share with us and let us know. Bye guys.